In this video, we're going to have a brief discussion about time series. So, I'm not going to go into this in any great detail because um, time series is really going to be a set of questions that might get you to plot some points, which hopefully we will be happy doing, um, or that you'll be given a graph that then you need to answer some questions about. And the questions are going to be relatively straightforward, just to make sure that you can read from a graph. So, for example, it might be, what was the temperature of the uh, hospital patient at 11 o'clock? What was the difference between the highest uh, temperature and the lowest temperature? Little things like that. Nice and easy questions. So, what I've done is I've set up two uh, examples here of time series. This is to do with a patient uh, at a hospital and the temperature of that patient is taken every half hour. And then this is a time series graph showing the temperature at midday um, in a particular city, let's say uh, Southampton for example. So. First of all, let's look at this. So a few things to point out first. Notice how um, the points have been joined up. Uh, the time is down the bottom, is the bottom axis, going along every half an hour. Um, the temperature is up the left hand side. And notice we've got this little jagged line. What that allows you to do, if you've never seen it before, is it allows you to skip out all those numbers between 0 and 36 are just start at 36 so that you don't have a graph um, that is uh, so for example if you didn't have that your line graph might look like this but then when you have it like this okay and you're just looking at this segment then you're looking at the interesting bit. So it allows you to cut out this bit of the axis using this jagged line, effectively. So it allows us to focus on the interesting bit. Um, and usually the unnecessary temperatures, for example, in this case. So the body temperature shouldn't go below a certain value. Uh, this one, this graph is looking at the midday temperatures at, in this city. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So instead of times, you could have days, or you could have months or years. Um, temperatures up the left-hand side again. And looks very similar to the initial graph. Okay, They're both line graphs like this. Now, the really, uh, the more challenging question is an explanation problem. Um, for this type of problem, where you've got the patient's temperature is being measured every half an hour, you might be asked to estimate uh, the patient's temperature at quarter past eleven, for example. And that seems fairly reasonable. Okay, so we go up to the graph, go along, and then read off our answer. That seems fairly reasonable. Um, going from 11 to 11.30, I know what two temperatures are, and so I am going to estimate that it is a straight line between those two points, or in that way, sorry. So I'm going to estimate it to be a straight line, and so I can kind of estimate what that temperature would have been. That seems reasonable. If I was going to use this graph to estimate, however, let's say I wanted to know um, uh, what was the temperature at midnight on Thursday? So you might be thinking, well, okay, well, I could go halfway between Thursday and Friday, go up to my line, and then straight along, and then read off my temperature. Okay, much in the same way that I did there. The problem with that is that I took these readings at midday, Okay, a midday at every temp uh, on every day of that week. 
So between midday on Thursday and midday on Friday, you would expect the temperature to have dropped because it's going from midday into the evening as it will get colder, okay, then midnight, then the early hours of the day, and then it will get hotter again. So because I'm only looking, I'm looking at quite a wide time period here between two separate days, I want, it is impractical to use this graph to estimate what the temperature would be at midnight on a Thursday or at any particular time that isn't at midday on that day. Okay, So I can't really use it to estimate anything else other than, well, I can't really use it to estimate, but I can use it to tell me what the temperature was at each midday but n at no time either side. So that's how these time series graphs can be used and just really use your own gut instinct judgment on whether in which situation you could estimate and whether it would make any sense to do so or not.